Hi everybody, thanks for watching. This evening we're out in Seashell to shoot seascapes at Blue Hour. Blue Hour is my favorite time to shoot seascapes. The gear you will need for this shoot includes your camera set to raw with the ability to set it to bulb mode, a wide angle lens, a tripod for stabilization during long exposure shots, a flashlight so you can see where you're going, fully charged batteries, and appropriate clothing for the weather. A little share. I prefer blue hour in the morning and the reason is because that is when the wind and the water are usually at their calmest. Some things to know that will help you with your blue hour photography. Get to your site early. In the morning you want to be there 90 minutes before the sunrise and in the evening it's a good idea to be there at least 60 minutes before the sun sets. Getting there early gives you time to set up your equipment and get a few shots in frame so you have a good idea of what you want. While you're out, remember to do your test shots in both portrait and landscape mode. Even though it's called blue hour, it can last anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. And during this time, the light is continuously changing. Here's a little tip. Because the light is changing so quickly, you might want to set your camera to aperture priority. Aperture priority mode allows your camera to select the aperture or F number and the ISO. This will do two things. First, it'll give you the time to focus on your composition. Second, it'll give you time to play with your shutter speed. This is good if you're wanting to smooth out some clouds or focus on some light trails. Creatively, I love Blue Hour because the slower shutter speeds can let you add drama and movement to your images. In case you didn't already know, Blue Hour is the time of day when the sun is below the horizon line but it's close enough to the horizon line to cast ambient light in a multitude of blue tones. Here's a little tip. When you're shooting blue hour, make sure that you turn off the auto white balance on your camera. Auto white balance can interfere with your camera's ability to detect blue tones. Did you know that? My favorite times of year to shoot blue hour are in the late spring and early autumn because I don't have to get up too early or stay up too late to catch it. Another little tip for you, get a good weather app that will help you predict good conditions for shooting blue hours. Another tip, always, and I mean always, check the tides before you go out shooting blue hour seascapes. You really need to know if it's incoming or outgoing. You don't want to get trapped. I have some parting words of wisdom for you, but first I want to say thank you for watching my videos. And if you find them helpful or enjoy them, please subscribe. Now what I want to leave you with is this. Wait for that moment when your sky changes, especially in the morning from black to indigo blue. See you next time.